In this video, we share the latest update on the 2025 Social Security Cost of Living Adjustment COLA, which is set to impact millions of beneficiaries. The new estimate for the COLA increase has just been released, and it's more significant than expected. We'll explain what this means for your monthly payments and how it affects those receiving Social Security, SSI, and SSDI benefits. Whether you're a current recipient or planning for the future, understanding these changes is crucial for your financial planning. We provide clear and simple information to help you understand the potential increase and how it might benefit you. In the next few minutes, we're going to unpack this startling announcement, breaking down the numbers, exploring the factors behind this unexpected shift, and most importantly, discussing what it means for you and your financial future. Whether you're currently receiving Social Security benefits, approaching retirement age, or simply planning for the long term, the information we're about to share will be vital to your financial well-being. We'll be hearing from leading economists, policy experts, and everyday Americans as we navigate this complex and rapidly evolving situation. We'll also be taking a look at historical trends, current economic indicators, and future projections to give you the most comprehensive understanding of this COLA announcement and its far-reaching implications. So buckle up and stay tuned. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear grasp of the 2025 Social Security COLA estimate, how it compares to previous years, what factors are driving this surprising change, and most crucially, how it might affect your monthly benefits and overall retirement strategy. Let's dive in and unravel this financial bombshell together. Before we delve into the specifics of the 2025 estimate, it's crucial to understand what COLA is and why it matters so much to Social Security beneficiaries. COLA, or Cost of Living Adjustment, is an automatic increase in Social Security benefits designed to counteract the effects of inflation. The idea is simple but powerful as the cost of goods and services rises over time, Social Security payments should increase proportionally to maintain the purchasing power of beneficiaries. The concept of COLA was introduced in 1972 through amendments to the Social Security Act. Prior to this, benefit increases were sporadic and required specific congressional action. The introduction of automatic annual COLAs was a significant step forward in protecting the financial security of retirees, disabled individuals, and other Social Security beneficiaries. The Social Security Administration uses the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers CPIW as the basis for determining the annual COLA. Specifically, they compare the average CPIW for the third quarter of the current year to the average for the third quarter of the previous year. If there's an increase, Social Security benefits are adjusted upward by that percentage for the following year. It's important to note that there's no guarantee of a COLA every year. If there's no increase in the CPIW, there's no COLA. This happened in 2010, 2011, and 2016, much to the dismay of many beneficiaries. The importance of COLA cannot be overstated. For many retirees, Social Security represents a significant portion of their income. According to the Social Security Administration, among elderly Social Security beneficiaries, 37% of percent of men and 42% of women receive 50% or more of their income from Social Security. Moreover, 12% of men and 15% of women rely on Social Security for 90% or more of their income. Without COLA, inflation would gradually erode the purchasing power of these benefits, potentially pushing many seniors into financial hardship. COLA serves as a critical safeguard helping to maintain the standard of living for millions of Americans as they age. Now, let's get to the heart of the matter, the 2025 COLA estimate that's taking everyone by surprise. According to the latest projections, the 2025 Social Security Cost of Living Adjustment is estimated to be percent. This figure, which comes from, is significantly than what many experts were anticipating. To put this into perspective, let's compare it with recent years. The 2022 COLA was 5.9%, the 2023 COLA was 8.7%, and the 2024 COLA was 3.2%. As you can see, the 2025 estimate of is a dramatic from the 2024 adjustment. If this estimate holds true, it would be the COLA in years. What does this mean in real terms? For the average Social Security recipient who received $1,907 per month in January 2024, a COLA would translate to an increase of approximately per month, or per year. For a couple where both partners receive the average Social Security benefit, their annual increase would be about. However, it's crucial to remember that this is still an estimate. 
The official 2025 COLA won't be announced until October 2024, when the Social Security Administration has the final third quarter CPIW data. This estimate is based on current trends and projections, and a lot can change in the economy between now and then. This estimate is causing quite a stir for several reasons. The of this estimated COLA has caught many off guard. A COLA of this size could have significant implications for the millions of Americans who rely on Social Security. This estimate may be indicative of larger economic trends that could affect all Americans, not just Social Security beneficiaries. With 2024 being an election year, this COLA estimate could become a hot-button political issue. A COLA of this magnitude raises questions about the long-term financial stability of the Social Security program. To understand why the 2025 COLA estimate is so unexpected, we need to examine the various factors that influence the cost of living adjustment. Remember, COLA is primarily based on changes in the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers CPIW, but numerous economic and social factors contribute to these changes. The most direct driver of COLA is inflation. The COLA estimate for 2025 suggests that experts are anticipating in the coming year. This projection is based on several factors, including trends in consumer goods prices, housing costs, energy prices, and healthcare costs, which are particularly relevant to seniors. The state of the overall economy plays a crucial role in determining inflation rates and, consequently, COLA. The Federal Reserve's actions have a significant impact on inflation rates. In our interconnected world, international economic conditions can significantly influence domestic inflation employment rates, and wage growth contribute to inflationary pressures. While we've made significant progress in recovering from the COVID-19 pandemic, its economic effects continue to reverberate. Fiscal policy, including government spending levels and national debt, can influence inflation rates. Rapid technological change can affect prices in various sectors of the economy. Changes in the population, such as the aging of the baby boomer generation, can impact economic conditions and inflation. Increasing frequency and severity of natural disasters can affect prices in various sectors. It's important to note that these factors don't operate in isolation. They interact in complex ways, often with cascading effects that can be difficult to predict. This complexity is part of why the 2025 COLA estimate has caught many experts by surprise. Moreover, it's crucial to understand that while the CPIW is the official measure used to calculate COLA, it has its critics. Some argue that it doesn't accurately reflect the spending patterns of senior citizens, who spend a larger proportion of their income on health care and housing. An alternative measure, the Consumer Price Index for the Elderly CPIE, has been proposed as potentially more accurate for determining Social Security COLAs. The surprising 2025 COLA estimate has far-reaching implications that extend beyond just the dollar amount added to monthly Social Security checks. For the nearly 70 million Americans who receive Social Security benefits, the impact of this COLA estimate is direct and significant. For those on the cusp of retirement, this COLA estimate could influence their decisions about when to start claiming benefits. While the immediate impact is less direct, younger workers contributing to Social Security should also pay attention to this development. There's a close relationship between Social Security COLAs and Medicare Part B premiums. SSI benefits are also adjusted based on the COLA. A higher COLA has implications for the federal budget and the long-term stability of the Social Security program. The Social Security COLA can have ripple effects throughout the economy. The Social Security COLA can affect businesses, particularly those with a large number of older workers or retirees. COLA announcements can influence various financial markets. Discuss how COLA estimates might affect Treasury inflation protected securities tips and potential impacts on sectors particularly sensitive to retiree spending. Many state and local government pension plans use the Social Security COLA as a benchmark for their own cost of living adjustments. It's important to note that these impacts are based on the current COLA estimate and could change if the final announcement in October 2024 differs significantly. Additionally, the full effects of a COLA are often not fully understood until months or even years after implementation. Moreover, while a higher COLA might seem universally beneficial for beneficial for beneficiaries, it's crucial to consider the broader context. A high COLA often reflects high inflation, which can erode purchasing power across the economy. It can also accelerate the depletion of the Social Security Trust Fund, potentially necessitating benefit cuts or tax increases in the future. 
On the other hand, a lower-than-expected COLA can help extend the solvency of the Social Security program but may leave beneficiaries struggling to keep up with rising costs, particularly for health care and housing. To fully appreciate the significance of the 2025 COLA estimate, it's helpful to view it in a broader historical context and consider what it might mean for future projections. Social Security COLAs have varied widely since their introduction in 1975. The highest COLA was 14.3% in 1980, during a period of high inflation, while the lowest was 0.3% in 2017. There were even years with no COLA at all, occurring in 2010, 2011, and 2016 due to low inflation. The average COLA from 1,975 to 2024 was approximately 3.7%.